Welcome back to Shadows of Rose. Let's continue exploring the house that we grew up in for a little while at least. Rose doesn't recognize it though. They were just a baby. I'm so lucky to have you both in my life. What's that voice? Is that... Dad? This must be my parents' house from when I was a baby. I bet other things also have my dad's memories. She's so little. <laughs> Hard to believe one day she'll be old enough to share a bottle of wine with her old man. So dad was a wine drinker. She bangs her spoon every time I play this. I wonder if she'll be a musician. I wonder if Dad played any instruments. She just cannot get enough of this stuff. <laughs> I bet Dad would feed me as soon as I started crying. Take your time and look around. Rose is such a picky eater. All she ever wants is fruit puree. I guess I've always loved fruit. There's no map for this place. Was that every room downstairs? Yeah. I think our room's in there. This tune has always been special for our family. I think I've heard this before. It's pretty. Ethan, don't forget Rose's half birthday is on the second. I'm going to make an amazing cake, so you better eat it. In fact, I'm going to make a cake for every special occasion we have. I want you to take lots of pictures for our family album. I haven't seen mom in ages. I, I know, she's probably a little too young for this, but it was too cute. I wonder how we played with this. Big fuzzy cube. This is my bedroom. She's growing so fast, getting bigger every day. This crib is so little. She's already growing out of these onesies? I can't believe I was ever this tiny. February 2nd is Rose's half birthday. Half a year in the blink of an eye. I wanted to capture this moment, these feelings, so I wrote something special. I may have gotten a bit sappy, though. I'd feel embarrassed if anyone stumbles across it, so it's safe in the sideboard for now. The key's behind my favorite photo. I wonder if she'll look like me when she grows up. Oh, I looked so happy. <laughs> oh, 
A letter for me? Happy half birthday, Rose. My gift to you is a promise. I'll always be there for you, no matter what. I'll be there every birthday to watch you blow out the candles on your cake. I'll be there to make you breakfast and walk you to school every day. I'll be there when you have a bad dream and sing to you until you fall back asleep. I'll hug you tight when you're troubled or worried and tell you that everything's gonna be all right. You are my precious Rose. Never forget that, Dad. No one loves you. No! Michael! Michael, help! Michael! No! Wasn't that the girl from Resident Evil 7? I don't remember their name. But basically the main villain from Resident Evil 7? <laughs> Guess what? isn't here. <laughs> so, you don't have the purifying crystal? <laughs> of course not. <laughs> For that, you'll have to go deeper. Much deeper. Poor Rose. <gasps> She can't trust anyone. <laughs> Why are you doing this? No one loves you. And when you're dead, no one will care! <laughs> Enough games. Now you'll drown. I need to get out of this house. I came first. First? Why does she only want you? What are you talking about? Uh. I wasn't sure if that was supposed to happen or if I died. I died. <laughs> I, I kept trying to move into the doorway. I couldn't. Enough games. Now you'll drown. I came first. First? Why does she only want you? What are you talking about? Look at you! You are beyond worthless! Seriously, what is your problem? Just so greedy! Yeah. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> okay, I need to use the white sprig. Yeah, I've got to use the white sprig and then stun them all. Now you'll drown. I came first. First? What? Does she only want you? What are you talking about? Look at you! You are beyond worthless! Seriously, what is your problem?
just so greedy. There we go. So many friends that it's never enough. Where do you think you are? Oh look, your families. Nope, no, nope, I'm not looking. I don't like my family. They're bad. Should chance. <sighs> they were supposed to die and join me here. <laughs> Let's go. <sighs> what? You made it out. Evelyn, that little girl. We still can't get out. Use your powers on her. I can help once she's weak. Fight Evelyn, alright. Make sure you're ready. Yeah, I'm not yet. Ooh. That refilled us all the way as well. You've got this. You will never, never! I have been such a good girl! Oh shit, I got up too fast. Wait for an opening. Yeah, this is very similar to when we last injected her in Resident Evil 7. I remember we also had to wait for their, like, waves of power and then, like, move in between the waves. Die. We were supposed to be a family! <laughs> She's not done. Be careful. Yep. Oh no, I think I need to go. Wait, go where? <laughs> Watch your step. Yeah. This is stupid! Go away! Nope! What? Shouldn't have gotten up. You're no nope. I think I'm dead. Yeah. I think there was probably another flower or two. Sclerotia or two. Are they flowers? I guess kinda. Probably technically not. Such a 
good girl. I was curious if you could stand up or not. You can't. You do have to crouch. Guys, we were supposed to be a family. the stairs. Find that crystal. Ethan, Ethan manifested. Give up, Rose. Find that crystal. Because of him, I can keep going. I have to find that crystal. I'm on my own, but I have to keep going. What is that doing here? What's all this doing out here? 
Do I still have my... Oh yeah, I got my guns back. Cool. Oh my god. What is this place? That is such a cool set piece. Ah. Oh. And that like the moon. Trust. What? It looked like me. Which makes it even creepier. Pipe bomb? No. Can I craft one? Also, no. I feel like I pistol ammo. I think I'm better off freezing these. I'm even stronger than before. <laughs> ah! Let me fuck. Let me through. Arr, arr. I'm pushing them. I'm pushing them. Mm. That's so annoying that they have collision even when they're down. There we, there we go. Ew. Gross. Ah. Okay, I think I need to deal with them. Okay. Mm. God, I really wish I had a pipe bomb. There's so many of them clustered. Uh. Maybe I'm better off freezing them and then just trying to run past them still. Oh no, I'm gonna get hit because I don't have any more white sage juice. Although I do have... I do have more in my inventory. The Mega Mycete absorbs the memories of all life within its reach, but there are laws which govern this world within it. It seems worthwhile to catalog them as they become apparent. Number one, 
The memories that comprise this realm do not strictly reflect reality. Two, only those who are attuned to the mutamycete in life retain control of their faculties here in this realm. This aligns with my understanding of the Megamycete as revealed to me in its visions before my death. Yes, my death. My physical body is gone, absorbed into the Megamycete. And yet I do not despair, for this fate has granted me fascinating insights. All those years I strived, have continued to strive, they are not for nothing. The memories, the consciousness, understanding, and knowledge I accumulated in life have transferred here to the Megamycete, where it serves as a source of power within this realm. If I can harness this power, I believe I can use it to affect the thoughts and memories of others. Of course, it's hardly a perfect arrangement, with so many minds and memories gathered here. Finding and retrieving a single person from amidst the rabble has proven an immense challenge. Her memories are here, yes, but dissolute. Perhaps what is needed is the right vessel into which to hold her. And of course, I know of the perfect vessel, the only real candidate in all my years of searching. Rosemary Winters. I'm not exactly sure who wrote this. But yeah, they're probably trying to speak with the mother from the base game. I forgot her name as well, but I think they were called the mother. The big baddie at the end. I've been experimenting with the possibilities of manipulating and reviving the consciousnesses stored within the Megamycete. When a person dies, their consciousness is stored and preserved, but over time it becomes diffused and diluted, spread thin throughout the Megamycete and mixed with other consciousnesses and memories. Extracting and reassembling an individual who has thus diffused has proved a monumental effort. As an experiment, I decided to see what would happen if I used different individuals' consciousnesses to create an entity. Results. The results were fascinating. I gathered fragments, re-spooled the threads, and succeeded in creating an individual, birthed anew in this realm. A success, to be sure, but while his unusual physique resembled a man I once knew, he was possessed of a deeply warped psyche and was missing a portion of his face. Conclusion. While manipulating memories to create a person is possible, the creations are flawed and unstable. It will not be possible to manufacture a suitable vessel in this way. Who wrote all this? You know, this looks like the lab, which I think... I think in the base game, this lab was run by Lady Domitresk. So maybe it's Domitresk? I had intended to duplicate Rosemary Winters with the hope that a perfect replica might serve as a suitable vessel. However, the results were less than ideal. It would seem that some sort of interference is presenting me, preventing me from creating a suitable replica. Instead, I've succeeded in making what is essentially a living doll. It resembles the real thing, yes, but it has no power. Such a pathetic husk could never prove suitable as a vessel. I will continue my efforts in hopes of discerning the source of this interference. Several hypotheses have come to mind thus far. One, the fact that Rose herself is still alive. Two, some other actor within this realm. Three, a flaw in my methods of production. None of these seem especially likely to be the sole reason, nor are any of them easy problems to solve. Perhaps my best hope is to somehow bring Rose into this realm, where she, were she to offer herself as a vessel, it would be so simple. Additional observations. Further experiments with these rose copies, as I've taken to calling these husks, have yielded another interesting wrinkle to pursue. When subjected to situations evoking extreme terror, they actually begin to express some semblance of Rose's abilities. This warrants more research, and I think that my first creation, the Masked Duke, is just the one to perform this stress test. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is Lady Domitresk. Me 
Wait, I read this one, didn't I? Yeah. It would seem that at some point during my experiments with consciousnesses, an intruder made herself at home in my realm. This intruder was none other than the failure, Evelyn, who has been running about enacting her own pitiful agenda, which has led to a slight disruption in my own plans. Had Evelyn not interfered, Rosemary Winters would have been on the verge of despair, dispossessed of her will to live and her mutamycete powers. Instead, a new passion burns within her. I shall have to extinguish it. God, this is so gross. They're giving us so much ammo. There's that feeling again. It's so strong. It must be the crystal. That pull I've been feeling is close, but I just can't go any further. I thought I had made it when I saw that blue light, but no, not quite. If only I'd been braver, faster, stronger. So close. I was so close. Yeah, I have tons of supplies. Black God, which lives in us and in which we live, create for us a new world, as befits your will. Your dark consciousness holds for us a second chance, graciously offered and joyously accepted. You drink the blood of the lost lamb as it falls upon your darkened earth, not to destroy, but to preserve, and once again deliver unto life. This is some twisted shit. Yeah, pretty much. so long for you. Who... Who are you? My name is Miranda. What? You had become so powerful. Far too powerful for me to subdue directly. So, I had to lure you into this realm so that you might willingly relinquish your powers. No. He said, did he, or did I? That game was an illusion. Very convincing, wouldn't you say? This does make more sense than Domitresk being the one doing this all, but man, I wish it was Lady Domitresk. <laughs> I like Miranda too, but oh, I want my tall vampire lady. Ethan, you pest! Go! Uh, so, 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 so,
Even he can manifest. He can save you, Rose! No one can. Rose! Rose, hurry! You can't escape! Not from me! Dad, wait, hold up! Is it really you? Yes, but for right now you need to run! Run! Complicate things. I just needed you safe. And I'm sorry I left you alone, but I had to find a way out. And I did. It's just ahead. Rose! Ah! <laughs> 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 Get away from my water! Stay away from my family! Rose, come on! You can't escape me, Rose. Ethan, persistence as always. Dad! Rose, now's your chance. Go live a normal life. Make friends. No one will ever call you a freak again. But... Rose, just go! I don't want to leave you! I know. I know. I love you. But I need to know that you're safe. So please, just... Ethan, you insolent pest! I got this. Get out of here! I'm trying. You just gotta stand still if you want to see it. <laughs> this is... I don't think that does anything. This will all soon. There is nothing. This fight was feeling impossible, so I looked up a guide on how to fight her and found out that I'm missing something really, really huge. I don't know if there was a tutorial prompt at the top of the screen and I didn't see it or something, but apparently we have a couple new abilities that I didn't even know we had. When, when did we get them? Uh, apparently we can summon a white root and we can also teleport dodge. Okay, I have to rant for a second. So after searching the scouring the internet in the middle of a boss fight just to figure out how to use controls that the game didn't even tell me existed, I'm pretty sure, like 99% sure it didn't, I finally found how to use the different controls by literally mashing my fucking keyboard. <laughs> I literally had to mash my keyboard to find them all. They're that obscure and weird and hard to access. There's three controls the game did not tell me about that are absolutely needed for this boss fight or you don't stand a freaking chance. Let me go over these lovely keyboard controls. 
E allows you to teleport if pressed at the same time as um, either left or right direction. Holding right and then E, teleport. Great. Okay. Now you want to absorb slash deflect the orbs that get shot at me. Those like bright things that Miranda shoots at me. Guess what the button is for that? H. The letter H in the middle of the keyboard does this. And then the white worm ability or whatever that I've heard you have, I actually was about to switch to a controller because I thought they, that literally wasn't bound to anything, but I found it. Left alt. So to summarize, teleport dodge with E, deflect with H, and white worm thing with left alt. Actually, let me see if right alt does it or if it's only left alt. No, it's specifically left alt. <laughs> what is this? All right, let's restart and I'll try. I mean, I'm going to be like doing this with like, it's going to feel like I have one hand tied behind my back because I'm trying to hit really, really weird keys like H. I, I guess with H, I'll just use my right hand for that, honestly. Or maybe, I don't know. We'll see. Let me see how white worm works because it takes three power. So... I want to be careful with how I use it. I don't think it has much range, so I think you have to wait till Miranda's close. Let's try it right here. Powers will allow you to stand against me in the heart of my domain. Foolish. Okay, that didn't work. You think your powers will allow you to stand against me in the heart of my domain? Foolish. How intent you were on my throwing them away? I think they just might. Here I come. <laughs> Yep, that did it. Won't let you do this. <laughs> and even if you were to Okay, let's try H. What would be the point? You can save your father. Yep, you give me some power. This is... <laughs> There's no shields. Yeah, this fight's a lot more fun when you, you know, have controls. How controls are cool. I'm not sure how two is going to work. To resurrect No matter how many muscles. Okay, I got one. We not have the power to reach out. Damn it. That is why it must be you. You are the only one who can bring her back to me. Whatever it takes, whatever I must do, I will see this through. Oh, try to absorb it. No, become this will all soon. Happen. 
Oh no, don't! Please don't kill me. Okay, it didn't. Whoa! A double whammy. How about this? You! Oh, I got them both. <laughs> Offer yourself unto me! Ah! Oh. There's no shields. Oh, sorry, I was pressing J instead of H. Let's see this powers. There will be wailing and gnashing of teeth. This is I think it's pretty rad that Miranda can just become a worm. You will fall. Come be by my side. Your time is at me. Yes, full power. Not bad. This will also How do you possess such power?
<laughs> what? This is new. There is no oh. My struggle comes to fruition. No rose over here. Dad. Use this. Take her down. And even though I wasn't there with you, I've always watched over you. I'm so sorry I couldn't protect you. All you've ever done is protect me. No. Not this time. You lost your chance. I'm so sorry. No. It was my choice. And I don't regret it one bit. If I had left you, then we never would have had this chance to talk face to face. <laughs> so it's okay. I'm... Okay. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I'm so very proud of you. I love you, Rose. I love you too, Dad. Back. I'm 
I'm back. Wait, if Kay was fake, how did we get in this lab? Is someone gonna come in and be like, how did you get in here? Was really sweet. Do you think the little boy will be able to touch the moon? Nobody can touch the moon, it's too far away. Wait, what if he has a rocket ship? Uh, okay, then he can touch it, but it'd be very, very Cool. You were being silly. I don't <laughs> think the moon feels like I it. Think it Hey, Dad. Happy birthday. Sorry I missed last week. I have a lot of tests coming up. You know how it is. <laughs> Talk of the goddamn devil. Duty calls. I love you. Yeah, I found her. Where else? Today of all days. <clears throat> we have a situation. You're needed, Evelyn. Don't you ever call me that again. Whoa, whoa, it's just a joke, Rose. I can show you things even Chris doesn't know I can do. We have a clear shot. Stand down. I can handle it. Way to keep it together, Rose. You're a lot like him, you know. I know. Okay, well, if you throw out the whole control thing at the end there, which was absolutely horrible, but if you throw that out, that was actually a really fun boss fight. And yeah, the whole DLC overall I thought was really good. It occasionally, uh, pretty much just with the Beneviento mansion place, strayed a little bit into kind of too samey, but it was very for a very small amount of time. And then they threw some really new interesting stuff in there with the... Um, those like mannequins that would chase you when you're not looking. So yeah, overall it was really good. I loved it. Yeah, I think I'm going to end it there. Thank you for watching. <laughs>